Barakata Yahawa, Barakata Yahusha, Barakata Yahawa, Barakata Yahawasha, Bahashem, Rekakwadash, double honor to the apostles, the elders, salutations to you, sincere brothers, teaching in truth and in sincerity. This lesson will be entitled The American Dream Verse the american dream lord will you are edified my source wikipedia.org american dream is a national ethos of the united states the set of ideals in which freedom includes the opportunity for prosperity and success as well as an upward social mobility for the family and children achieved through hard work in a society with few barriers and the definition of the american dream by james truslow adams in 1931 life should be better and richer and fuller for everyone with opportunity for each according to ability or achievement regardless of social class or circumstances of birth. The American dream is rooted in the Declaration of Independence, which proclaims that all men are created equal with the right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Also, the U.S. Constitution promotes similar freedom in the preamble to secure the blessings of liberty to ourselves and our posterity. Okay, so this is the definition of American Dream, Salaki, of the American Dream according to Wikipedia. All right, now let's go to urban dictionaries definition for american dream a fairy tale designed to make people conform spend money they don't have or stuff they don't need work for less pay and think someday they can have everything they want sounds about right another definition the ideal American life as fed by the media, 2.3 children, white picket fences surrounding a split level house with a dog and a cat and a station wagon or a minivan to take the kids to sports practice impossible by its nature. The reason it's called the American dream is you have to be asleep to believe it. Quoted from George Carlin, okay? Let's jump back up. I thought my degree could help me get a job and I could live the American dream. Now, no one will hire me, and I owe $100,000 in student loans. Fuck you, American dream. American dream, A, to sue someone for something incredibly stupid and live off the money. B, to otherwise make a lot of money for not a lot of effort and spend the rest of your life being rich and getting plastic surgery. Johnny was biking in the park and he ran into a tree. He sued the council and got 10 mil. He's living the American dream. Last one. American dream, an ideal created by American society trying to make people believe anyone could could be something strange how all the u.s presidents have been in the upper one percent of society wow okay 
the American dream is nothing but a nightmare for the nation of Israel, referring to so-called Negroes, so-called Hispanics, and so-called Native Americans based on the lineage of your fathers, okay? And let's prove that. Let's go to Daniel 7 and 25, and he shall speak great words against the Most High in the form of America. And who controls America? The nobility of Edom. And shall wear out the saints. All right. And when you analyze wear out, according to the Hebrew, it means constant harass, okay? From a physical and a spiritual aspect. And think to change times and laws, which he did, okay? Because everything that Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh instructed us to do, Esau has changed, okay? And they, Israelites, shall be given into his hand until a time, a hundred years, and times two hundred years, and the dividing of times. And that's what, fifty? A grand total of three hundred and fifty years. We have been this man's captive, okay? Deuteronomy 28 and 68. And the Lord Yahweh shall bring thee into Egypt, modern day America, again with ships. Hence the transatlantic slave trade. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, referring to prophecy, thou shalt see it no more again, referring to our land. And there, referring to America, ye referring to our nation, shall be sold unto your enemies, our enemies, Edomites, so-called white people, for bondmen and bondwomen, meaning what? Slaves. And no man shall buy you. The only man that can save us is Yahweh Shai. Okay? Ruth 1 and 20. And she said unto them, Call me not Naomi. Call me Mara. For the Almighty have dealt very bitterly with me. Okay? Mara. Now, America goes back to the origin of Mara. And Mara means what? Bitter. Yahweh Bashem Yahushai brought us to America and the Americas. Why? Because he was going to deal bitter with us. Okay? We came here not to thrive, but to finish out captivity only. Okay? The American dream is nothing but a fairy tale designed to make people conform, spend money they don't have on stuff they don't need, work for less, pay and think someday they can have everything they want. And the only way our people can attain this so-called American dream, you have to sell out. Okay. And I love this quote. The reason it's called the American dream is you have to be asleep to believe it by George Carlin. Uh, 
Ecclesiasticus 34 and verse 1. Now let's see what the scriptures say about dreaming. The hopes of a man void of understanding are vain and false, and dreams lift up fools. And you can apply the scripture to the concept of the American dream. Whoso regard dreams is like him that catch at a shadow and follow after the wind. Okay, meaning what? In most cases, two-thirds of our people will continue to chase this dream until they burn out. And most of our people will not attain the American dream. Okay. Verse 3. The vision of dreams is the resemblance of one thing to another, even as the likeness of a face to a face. Yeah. It looks like something from the outside looking in, but it's nothing. Okay. Verse 4. Of an unclean thing, what can be cleansed? And from that thing which is false, what truth can come? Verse 5. Divinations and soothsayings and dreams are vain. The American dream is vain as well. Okay. And the heart fancieth as a woman's heart and travail. If they be not sent from the Most High, and thy visitation set not thy heart upon them. And you can apply this scripture to the American dream. If they be not sent from the Most High, it's nowhere in the scripture where Yahweh Bashem Yahweh instruct us to attain the American dream. He wants us to return back to him through his son Yahweh Shai. Okay. The remnant beginning with the 144,000 trickling down to the other elected men and elected women and elected children. Okay. For dreams have deceived many. The American dream has deceived many as well. And they have failed to put their trust in them. And that's why you see Israelites selling drugs, murdering, scheming each other, spending a long lifespan in jail because of the infatuation of the American dream, which is total bullshit. Lord will, you are edified. Shalom.